Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 5.27 from study book. So the question is to find V0. V0 is this voltage here. And we have an ideal op M here. And we need to remember the properties of ideal op M, which is the voltage between its terminal is the same. And the current that flows into the op m is equal to zero and also op m is not a kcl mode. so that is the properties of ideal op m that we need to know and okay now let's move on to the circuit we have two nodes here v1 v2 and maybe this node here because this is v0 from the ground so i'll have v0 Maybe let's start by using KCL at V1. So I have KCL. No, it's not KVL. KCL at V1. KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Okay, now let's assume the direction of the current. So this is going to the right, this is going down, and this is going to the open. Okay, the only current that goes in is this one here. And we can calculate this by using Ohm's law. So I will have 7.5 because this node here is 7.5 from the ground. And then minus P1 divided by the resistance between them, which is 16. And that is the only current that goes in. The other currents is going out. Okay, now let's take care of the currents that goes out. So this one is V1 minus 0. V1 minus 0 divided by 24. And this one is the current that goes into the op amp which is equal to zero so i will just get plus zero here so let's do some simplification here i will have 7.5 minus v1 and that will equal to v1 over 24 multiplied by 16 we move this 16 to the right hand side and then maybe just let divide this by 8. So I will have 2 and I will have 3 here. Okay. So maybe I can multiply 3 here. So I will have 22.5 minus 3 V1. And that will equal to 2 V1. Or 5 V1 will equal to 22.5 and what does that mean that means that v1 is 22.5 divided by 5 what is it uh, i can count fast these days so i have 4.5 yeah v1 is 4.5 so this is V1, but the question is not asked about V1. Okay, V1 is 4.5. So let's do another node here, which is V2. So if we take a look here, V2 is connected to this terminal of the op -M, And based on these properties, that should be tell us that V1 is equal to V2. But we know V1 already, which is 4.5. So I have 4.5 is equal to V2. So V2 will be 4.5. Okay, so now we have this is 4.5. Maybe let's do one another KCL, which is here at V0. So let's do KCL at V0. 
SEL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. The only current that goes in is this current here and the only current that goes out is this current here. And the current that goes in is V2 minus V0 divided by 8. And then the only current that goes out, that will be V0 divided by 1. Let's plug in V2 to here. So I will have V2 is 4.5 minus V0 divided by 8. And that will equal to V0 divided by 1. Okay cross multiplying 4.5 minus V0 is equal to V0 over 12 multiplied by 8 so this can be divided by 4 with I will get 2 and this will get 3 and now we will have what is it 4.5 multiplied by 3 that will be 13.5, right? 13.5 minus 3 V0. And that will be 2 V0. Or 5 V0 is equal to 13.5. Finally, 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 we have V0. Which is 13.5 divided by 5. 13.5 divided by 5, that will be 2.7 volt. So I have 2.7 volt for V0, which is the final answer of this problem. So hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.